Hello YouTube and welcome to Synthetic Oil Info. My name is Tom Brown and in this video I want to talk about AMSOIL's engine assembly lube. And here's what the container looks like. comes in a 4 ounce tube. Uh, this product is used for when you are assembling a 4 cycle engine uh, when you're putting that engine back together. Uh, so you put all this all over the, the uh, wear components, bearings, pistons, rings, uh, you know, lifters, camshaft lobes, uh, rocker arms, uh, and heads of valve stems. Uh, and to open it, just unscrew the cap, snip off the tip at whatever size you want, and uh, go ahead and use it. Uh, and use this very liberally as you're putting an engine back together. Uh, or even as you're uh, putting parts in storage, uh, go ahead and put assembly lube on them to protect those parts from rust and corrosion while they're sitting there waiting to go back together. So let's say you just got your crankshaft back from the machine shop uh, and you're not quite ready for your engine to go back together yet. Go ahead and coat the journals of the crankshaft and any other uh, basically shiny surface on that crankshaft that's going to be susceptible to rust and corrosion uh, while it's sitting there. Maybe go ahead and, and uh, you know, put it inside of a plastic bag to keep moisture off of it as well. Uh, and then put some more on there as you get ready to go back together. So again, this goes on your crankshaft journals, your, your rod bearings, main bearings, your camshaft bearings, the camshaft lobes, the lifters before they go back into the holes, uh, the push rod balls on each end, rocker arms uh, in, the, in the rocker arm pivot joint and in the uh, where the rocker arm makes contact with the valve stem. Uh, so any of those parts that require oil when the engine is running, uh, go ahead and put assembly lube on them. That way when you start up the engine, you're not running those parts dry. Uh, even if you prime the engine uh, before you start it, you're better off putting assembly lube on there uh, because you're going to provide that extra wear protection and extra lubrication during those first few minutes of startup when the most wear and danger of seizure can take place uh, in a brand new engine. You don't want to spend all that money on brand new or on putting all those new parts back in your engine only to have them seize up or get damaged because they weren't lubricated properly during that first few minutes of startup. So use AMSOIL assembly lube very liberally inside your uh, engine as you're going back together. And one of the things that makes this assembly lube from AMSOIL so much better than some of the older lubes that we used to use uh, when you were assembling engines is the fact that those older lubes, most of them were grease based, meaning that they were a very high viscosity uh, and they had to be high viscosity in order to do that lubrication and to not just get flung off of those parts uh, when the engine started turning over and, and running the first few moments. Uh, but the problem is, is that when that uh, grease-based assembly lube uh, gets down in the oil pan and gets sucked back up by the oil pump, it is so thick it can easily plug up small oil ports inside of your engine. And then you're right back into the same problem again of you have oil starvation uh, to some critical areas of the engine. And if one of those ports is down low, such as your oil uh, channels in your crankshaft, uh, that can starve uh, everything else down line from that uh, plug point. Uh, you can ruin that engine really quickly. Uh, AMSOIL's assembly lube is an oil-based. It's not grease-based, so it's a, a lighter viscosity. Uh, but it's got uh, additives in it that cause it to cling to that metal tenaciously uh, during those first few moments of startup. That way it's going to continue to do its job, but then as the oil warms up uh, and this in, uh, assembly lube starts mixing with engine oil, it dissolves very quickly uh, so that there's no danger that it's going to get down in your oil pump and get pumped back through the engine and create those plugs that the old grease-based uh, assembly lube would cause. Uh, excellent rust and, and corrosion inhibitors in here as well. Uh, and that's especially important, as I mentioned before, about before you put your engine together, go ahead and uh, put a small amount of this all over those machine surfaces to prevent that rust and corrosion before you go back together. Uh, so if you do all that, you'll be very happy uh, and you won't have those lubrication problems during the first few moments of startup. So that's it on assembly lube, four ounce tube available from AMSOIL. 
I will post a link to it right here in the bottom of the video, uh, which will take you directly to the AMSOIL site. Uh, go ahead and just cut that, cut and uh, paste that link right into your browser, uh, and that way it'll take you right to the AMSOIL store uh, where you can make your purchase. Uh, if you're going to purchase more than $100 of AMSOIL products in a year, I encourage you to look at becoming a preferred customer, uh, and that will allow you to buy AMSOIL products uh, at wholesale price, which is usually about 20% off of the retail price, and then you can have those products shipped right to you wherever you want them, uh, and you can put them in yourself or have your favorite installer put them in for you. Uh, I assume if you're buying assembly lube that you are a, a mechanically inclined individual and you're going to use it yourself, um, but uh, that's not always the case. So however you want to use it or you want to pay somebody else, that's fine. Uh, so also please check us out on Facebook. We're there at Synthetic Oil Info. Please like us there. And the same here on YouTube. Please like us here and subscribe to our channel so we can get seen by more people. Uh, and so we can help other people just like we're helping you right now. Please tell your friends and family about us uh, as well. So thanks for stopping by today. I hope you've found this uh, video informative and enjoyable. And we hope to see you on the next one. Have a great day.